and have you ever wondered how a film can defy the test of time? Picture this. A quirky action comedy that sat on the shelves for years is suddenly thrust back into the spotlight. The journey of Red is a testament to this phenomenon. Originally released 14 years ago, Red has made an impressive comeback now ranking among Netflix's top films. The story follows Frank Moses, a retired black ops agent played by Bruce Sumpok Willis. Faced with an assassination attempt, he assembles his old team, Morgan Freeman, John Malkovich, and Helen Mirren, to uncover the truth behind the plot. Despite a few years, uh, during a week in August, Red found itself sitting pretty as the eighth most popular movie on Netflix in the U.S. It outperformed fan favorites like White Chicks and The Emoji Movie, showcasing its lasting appeal. It, the film's initial reception was overwhelmingly positive. Critics lauded its blend of humor and action, allowing it to stand out amidst its big-budget counterparts. With a 72% rating on Knack Rotten Tomatoes, Red even snagged a Golden Globe nomination for Best Motion Picture in the Musical or Comedy category, or Rating Close Shadows. They and financially, it was a powerhouse, raking in around $22.5 million during its opening weekend and accumulating a global total of nearly $200 million. Its successes spurred the creation of a sequel, Red 2, released nearly a decade later. In this follow-up, the beloved characters reunite to hunt for a stolen nuclear weapon, bringing back familiar faces alongside some of these that are new talents. In 1965, BP, new, BP, 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 with me, with new and progress, BP, eight, with new... Yet, despite the fondness for the series, fans may be disappointed to learn that a third installment seems unlikely due to Bruce Willis' health issues. Nevertheless, the originals remain accessible on Netflix for all to enjoy. If you're enjoying this engaging story, please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button to keep the momentum going. And so why did Frank Moses always carry a pencil? Because he didn't want to draw attention to himself. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and... Uh, until next time.